Hello guys, Kalonji Murray with Tax Assurances. Um, just wanted to do a video for people that are filing taxes for the first time or maybe the second or third time. They're not really as familiar with the tax filing process and I just wanted to provide some information, some guidance, some you know best practices that I've given out to my clients over the years in terms of you know just kind of putting everything together making sure that you have all the information answer any questions that people may have uh, about that tax about the tax prep preparation process so first and foremost you know for most people um, you know they probably got a w-2 so what's going to happen at the end of the year is an employer is going to provide a summary of all the income that was made during the year so that again is is shown up on what's called the w-2 and that will either be electronically sent off to somebody that worked at a company for the year, or it will be uh, mailed off. Either way, you'll get a copy of it. The IRS actually requires that by the end of January that everyone that worked for a company receive a W-2. So that's going to be received if, let's say, for instance, it's mid-January or even towards the end of January. And for some reason, you know, you've been working at a company and you haven't gotten a copy of the W-2. You would just simply reach out to them, ask for a copy, and somehow, some way, they are required by law to make sure that you get that. Um... Then on top of that, let's say, for instance, you have student loans. Same thing. If you paid interest on your student loans, um, you would get a statement at the end of the year that lets you know how much you paid in interest on those student loans. Uh, let's say you and your friend, you know, you had an investment in crypto. If you had a brokerage account with, let's say, um, you know, one of the brokerage firms, they also would send a year-end summary of all the transactions that happened. So say, for instance, you were buying and selling, whether it's crypto or whether it's individual stocks or mutual funds or what have you, um, you would get a year-end summary that kind of lets you know what happened. And more importantly, it communicates to someone like me that's preparing a return exactly what happened. And that way I can use that information to prepare uh, what's called a Schedule D, which is going to ultimately summarize whether or not you made money or you lost money in your investment. Um, so say, for instance, for the full year, you spent $5,000 buying an investment, and let's say you made $7,000 at the end of the year. Well, we need to record both the $5,000 and the $7,000 and reflect the $2,000 that you made. So that type of um, you know, financial information and that taxable information is something that is required. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, sometimes you've got dependents that you may have. Um, there may be other kind of uh, tax credits that are available to you. Um, but for the people that are kind of starting out, that's kind of a base that uh, we start out with. Uh, and one of the things that I'm pretty good with is I provide like a checklist that people can use to make sure that, you know, if there are things that we need to consider, we can kind of make sure that we're checking that box. If not, obviously, you know, we don't have to worry about it. More importantly, what it also does is it provides guidance for the future that, oh, I'm not doing this now. Let's say again, again like let's say, for instance, it's an investment account. Um, but in the future, it's something that you're thinking about. That way we can have a conversation, you know, that particular year about what that looks like. And then more importantly, for the future, you can kind of prepare what that tax rate or like how much you need to set aside to make sure that any in, any income that you are getting, you are um, accounting for it, making you know, tax payments on it or expect to make tax payments on it and how it's going to play out for the whole return. Um, again, there are more pieces of information that get into more specifics based on people's individual circumstances, but that's kind of a, a broad overview. Um, obviously, if you've got questions, by all means, reach out, give me a call, uh, shoot me an email, and I would love to help.